best way for me to describe like each morning when I wake up is like how grateful I am that I'm doing you know this job as a head coach because I remember every every job and every commute from Hermosa Beach to Thousand Oaks I remember the picking up family and moving from Ann Arbor to LA to Foxborough and then so many others in between. I really believe that when I worked for Coach Burrier, and I mean I was 21, 22, 23, what do I know? But at the time I was like, God, this is so amazing. He's got his wife comes to practice. He's got his kids running around. He's got all the other coaches' kids. He's, you know, he has family dinner on Wednesday nights. And you're like, well, if I ever get this chance, why not replicate that? We've only been here um, this, today is two weeks. So we're still unpacking 14 moves in 17 years. It's been interesting. It's not, um, it's not always easy. I hope that this is a place that's permanent and home. And the kids, my kids can say I'm from Tucson. It's a crazy weekend in Tucson. Today, I think we're looking to have 220 football alumni coming out to our walkthrough. And I mean, I, I know that we'll have a, at least uh, well, 5,000 people at our spring game, which is the capacity for Pima County. You know, you have one chance to build your culture. And uh, this is our opportunity to set the stage. It's my honor to introduce the new head football coach for the University of Arizona, Jed Fish. When we are done here today, we will begin our work to build back Arizona football to where we all want it, a culture of consistent winning. Let's go, let's go. Every part of our program right now is about energy and enthusiasm. I understand it's been over 700 days since this team's won a game. You know, that's just numbers, and we've got to find a way to speed that up and start winning some games. I know we're better than we were 14 practices ago. Now we just have to execute, get stronger, get bigger, get faster. Shock it, shock it, shock it. Knock him back. We're trying to get knock him back. Every time we line up, we want to knock him back. We want to play on their side of the line. It's a change in the mindset it's a change in the culture that these kids are buying into. Since he's been hired, I hope it's pretty clear to most people that he's checking all the boxes. Excellent. Hey, that was excellent. That's how it has to be right there. That throw will win the game. If we don't make that throw, we won't win the game. Back it up. Boom, 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 boom. It's like a series of dominoes. You know, the, the guy is organized. He's detailed. He has a plan for everything. He's picked up enough things to really create magic here that's gonna make this place just shine. Oh, nice. Okay. Somebody's taking coaching around here. Good, I like it, I like it. You know, you gotta make it personal every day. You've got to walk into the weight room, like, it's personal, right? It's personal that I get strong. It's personal that I push the person next to me. You know, it's certainly personal to me. Good work. If you think about where you started at practice one, where you were mentally, where you were physically, and now where you are today, okay, we probably took a nice jump. We got to take a bigger jump the next time. However, before summer starts, we got a game to play. Okay, we got a game to play. So what we've got is Team Blue which is Team Brewski, okay. and Team Red, which is Team Rob, okay? And we know Saturday is going to be special, okay? Saturday is going to be special. CY, break us down. Family, there we go. Blue, red, blue, red. For a long time, the alumni had been kind of cut out and left out. One of the things that we really need to get done is, is to, to get everybody back in. 
They don't need to wait until we win games. Let's get them on the bus now. The alumni and the former players all feel like this is their team. We feel like a sense of ownership there. When I got the job, uh, then that night I went into Coach Belichick's office and he was thrilled and he was he's like, hey, the first thing we got to do is get Teddy Bruschi on the call. Who's there? Teddy Bruschi. I was vacuuming and I looked up and there was there was a man at the door and I opened it and it was Teddy Bruschi. And I said, oh, hi, I'm so sorry. Let me put this away. I'll be right back. So he came in and sat down at, um, at our table and they got to know each other. First I called my wife because of course she's an Arizona alum also. She played volleyball here, you know? And she's like, finally, okay, what'd you think? And I said, Heidi, I think we got the right guy. I know, I know it's early, it's early, babe, and I don't like to just say that in like generalities, but it's like, I just know where this program's been and they just need an influx of fresh energy. That's someone that's committed to the place. Joey Thomas is gonna go to Gronkowski again. I feel like Judd's on the right path right now, getting everyone to come back, all the players to come back, all the alumni to come back. This program is going in the right direction and, and that's what needs to happen. Teddy Bruschi, who is coaching the blue team today. And then Rob Gronkowski over on the other side, the four-time and part of the current Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I, I keep selling it. Like, let's make Saturday spring game like the biggest party we've had in 15 months. Like, we've all been in this crazy environment of masked up, and now we have opportunity to be vaccinated and be hopefully safe. Let's enjoy this game. I'm gonna sit back and kind of watch it, you know, and enjoy it. That was pretty good. Uh, I gotta give it to him, that was good. Who got me? You got me? Another trick play. Wide open as Gunnar Cruz launches for a touchdown. I love it. Let it rip. <laughs> Good call. I love it. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Deep shot from Gunnar Cruz. With a couple of steps, Jamari Joyner behind the defense. Go, go. Full speed ahead. Everything that Jed is bringing in is the positivity. It's a way of life. It's a way of coaching. And it's the way he approaches everything. It's personal and it truly is. He's one of us because you know, he cares about this community. He cares about these kids, but most importantly, he cares about this program. And there's Gronk. He's open. He's got it. <laughs> there goes Gronk. That's a student chasing him. Touchdown, Gronk. Give him a spike. Yeah. It is. <laughs> and they dump the water bucket on Gronk. <laughs> As they should. As they should. I can feel the brotherhood getting stronger and stronger, and I think um, Coach Fish has been a big part of that. So um, just going forward, we're just going to keep working hard and having that family mindset in, in mind and just going from there. We're not building it on misery. There needs to be joy. I want them to see smiling faces. You could be a tough out on the schedule, you'd still smile. You know, smiling is a huge part of life. And uh, that's one thing that we're never gonna lose. <laughs>